Well, how's Cactus today? Well, if I felt any better, I'd be heading back to Atlanta. And that fine, big, brown-eyed gal of mine. Man, they gotta hurry up and get me out of this place. Cause if I don't get back home soon, I know some of them cats gonna be trying to take my gal away from me. You'll do all right. You're looking better, Mr. Jordan. I wish I had a beautiful nurse like Miss Betty to help cure me. You're right, Officer Lee. Miss Betty's better medicine than Dr. Bones could give you. Now you two <laughs> quit kidding. I think you're both well enough to go home. And Officer Lee should be back on his beat according to his chart. Yes, I think I'll get back to Houston and see Roby and help straighten out those boys on West Dallas. Okay. Well, how's Pistol Pete's lunch wagon without Pistol Pete? Oh, my wife is keeping the business going all right, Mr. John, but I'd sure like to get back to help her out. Well, we hope it won't be long before you'll be up and out and around again. Take your medicine. Do I really have to take it? Don't you want to get well? Is this trip necessary? Oh, come on. That's fine. Now you rest and try to get a little nap before supper. You know, there really should be a place for those kids to go. There's millions of kids just like them. Need to get out in the sunshine, learn how to ride and shoot. They really should do something about that. There really should be a place for those kids. There really should be a place for those kids. There really should be a place for those kids. There really should be a place for those kids. These old boots of mine may be need a shine, but there's nothing wrong with that. I can ride on by with my head held high, got a new 10 gallon hat. Though my pants are worn and my shirt is torn, I'll go right on standing pat. Feeling kind of gay for I spent my pay on a new 10 gallon hat. Maybe I'm plum loco, dressing up my cocoa when I need a shirt instead. Maybe I'm not clever, maybe I should never let a hat go to my head. But I'm glad I did, cause a brand new lid perks me up in nothing flat. How can I go wrong long as I belong to a new 10 gallon hat? Cause a brand new lid perks me up in nothing flat How can I go wrong long as I belong to a new ten gallon hat Say, look, there's the H&H &H Ranch, Mr. Jordan Everybody comes to get the fresh air and the sunshine and get well. Say, Bob, what does H&H &H stand for? H&H &H stands for health and happiness, Mr. Jordan. Health and happiness, two wonderful words. Yeah.
already. Well, I'm sure glad somebody's coming to break the monotony. I'm sick and tired of seeing nothing but horses all day long. But it's too big a job for you running a great big ranch like this, Miss Betty. Since your father passed away, you seem to be getting further and further into debt. But it was my father's last wish that Bob and I keep the ranch going so that people could come here to get well, especially the children. But you don't charge the children and there aren't enough paying guests to cover your overhead. You see, Betty, the mortgage I gave your father on this place is due this week and my bank is pressing me for money. Now, if you'd consider my offer of marriage, Mr. I might... Morgan, I've told you I couldn't think of marrying someone I didn't love. Hello, Betty. Hello, Mr. Morgan. I just brought Tugon Jordan, his band, out on the stagecoach. He, I'll pick us up at the telegraph office. Arriving Friday with family, George M. Van Damme. Isn't that wonderful? Mr. Van Damme and his family will be here the day after tomorrow. Yeah, that's all very well. But how are you going to pay a band and you can't pay me my money? Well, you see, Mr. Morgan, we had to hire a band in order to keep the paying guests here. And when Mr. Van Dam arrive, I'm sure he'll make up the losses just like he did for father. Mr. Van Dam loved this ranch ever since he regained his own health here. He said he'll help us keep it going at any cost. Well, I think you're both a couple of saps to be catering to a bunch of city dudes, but at your own funeral. Just remember this. I'm a practical businessman, and unless I get my money by Saturday, I'm going to foreclose on the mortgage. Say, I don't like his attitude, and I don't trust him either. Yeah, I'll be glad when we get him paid. 